Good day, how's it going? Okay, boy, like I don't know what's going on. Why, is, why the, uh, the the letters didn't come up? The letters? Yeah. Oh, oh. there they are. Okay. Yes. What is up, dudes? Oh, right off the bat, Ten Scale man, what is up? Happy birthday, buddy! I hope you're having a great birthday. What is up, Ten Scale? Thanks for the ten bones. Uh, it gets you another two entries to the raffle. Yes, King Wally, what is up, buddy? Uh, Who Rock, what is up? Nash, what is up? John, what is up? Rudy, what is up? Who else is in here? It's twelve. What is up? Mile High, what is going down? Koto, a new dude. What is up, new dude? Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Uh, yeah, we got audio. We got people watching. And uh, yeah, I got a fresh brew right here. It's time to crack it. You know, step two, it's time to drink some beers. <laughs> it's Tuesday. What else are we going to do at uh, 9.30, at least on the East Coast? Cheers to beers. Delicious. It's delicious. Once it hits the lips, uh, it, uh, it goes down so smooth. It goes down so smooth. <laughs> yes, it's not my birthday, guys, but yes. Uh, but I appreciate the sentiment. Yes. Uh, what What are we doing? We're doing a couple of things. Yeah, Nash and I took out the Troller Stroller version 2. It's got a new radio in it, which is pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, what else we got? We got a, a small neighbor update. Yeah, we got SAS with uh, Facebook because I, I, I got a little bit of heat because I'd, I've stopped doing the Facebook shout outs with the SAS shout outs. So we're going to do that. And uh, yeah, I think there might be even a pee break. There might even be, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> who knows what will happen, but it might happen. Uh, I might also forget to turn my mic on. Always classic, classic K-pop move uh, right there. And uh, let's see, what, what are you dudes saying? TJ, what is up, man? Uh, hope you're having a good Tuesday. Uh, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. <laughs> great flick uh yeah all right wicked so i guess we should just jump right in or right, we got 16 people maybe i should wait just a little bit you know we got people trickling in maybe or maybe not i don't know um but i'm definitely going to take another uh sip of this beer where's the snacks 10 scale i don't do i even i had so much dinner man i'm getting so fat after watching the uh troller solar footage back man i'm getting i'm getting chubs i need to uh i need to take care of that situation maybe drinking uh like for or like two weeks back seven tall cans on a tuesday is probably not the best idea you know i don't know what's up kiwi gone what is up snacks yeah do i have snacks i got like pickled veggies but i don't know if that's i don't know what that's gonna do and uh you guys all know about my ketchup chips so what am i gonna do what am i gonna do i don't know maybe i should invest in some snacks for next week uh apparently you dudes love the snacks or at least king wally does I mean, who doesn't love snacks? Come on, who doesn't love snacks? All right, we got 20 people watching. Just going to wait for a few more before we uh, get into the troller stroller action. Uh, yeah, what did we do? I can actually kind of 
talk about a little bit about it somewhere here. I got one of these really, really crappy Radio Link RC4GS four channel radios. Um, only crappy because they, uh, it's the uh, the trigger feel that's crappy and the bouncing steering is crap. Like it's just not a high quality build, but it does do mixing in the radio so you can do tanked vehicles with this thing um after i upgraded the firmware it started to work a little bit better and uh yeah it actually works pretty well i mean uh we're going to talk a little bit about the problems that we still had with the troller stroller and how we're probably going to have to ditch reverse but you'll see that in a little bit but um yeah this thing kind of saved saved us a little bit it's more controllable um and hopefully it'll get even more controllable but uh you guys will see that all in the footage coming up yeah nice it's 21 of you dudes watching hope you're having a good tuesday if you're just joining us uh, i'm k-pop rc welcome to tall can tuesday uh it is tall can tuesday where is it there they are okay yes cheers to beers bros that's right it's tall can freaking tuesday uh, another Tall Camp Tuesday, man. I think we're at like 33 of these freaking shows. And uh, I'm super happy you guys are coming out, hanging out on Tuesday. Um, yeah, appreciate you guys. Love the feedback and uh, and all your help. And if it wasn't for you guys, the Troller Stroller wouldn't have happened. So uh, cheers to beers. Hopefully you're enjoying some kind of cold beverage on this Tuesday night. Also, if you guys uh, super chat me five bones, uh, for every five bones you super chat me, gets you into a raffle to win um, a 3D printed cage for the Zero Flux uh, Hilux. Hilux. Zero Flux Hilux. Uh, yeah, you can actually kind of see the last uh, drift volume, strictly drifting volume on my channel. You can kind of see that thing in action and it's pretty freaking sweet uh strange brew yeah no i mean before strange brew king wally the it was a tv show here in canada it was actually um where lauren michaels got his uh oh no maybe it wasn't lauren michaels no it was lauren michaels all right so the guy who did who created saturday night live he actually produced a tv show um out here up here in the great white north and uh yeah what was it called it was called sctv and uh it was a sketch comedy show and uh, one of the sketches was bob and doug mckenzie so yeah they did end up making a movie called strange brew but uh but that's not from it this is why they have twist tops uh the americans gotta drink more so they don't have time to look for uh church keys and openers so they just like whip them up and drink whip them up and drink whip them up and drink, whip them up and, drink. and that way they get more down uh in them in less time and then get the same effect but my question to you guys is why why not just put more alcohol in your beer and then you don't have to twist them all off eh? right but yeah you'll then buy so yeah so yeah so that's like k-pop after like three four of these maybe four of these very similar uh, i'm surprised i haven't called you guys hosers uh <laughs> let's see your hubby saying uh, welcome aboard to kato uh yeah kato let's see here cold beverages on hand boy sweet john what is up i believe i got my third 3d printer to work i had to buy a new control module uh that sucks hopefully it was working before you had oh no yeah you were just having issues with it all right man well hopefully you got an upgraded one hopefully you got one that uh does like uh what's it called um i don't know it's more than eight bit hopefully fingers crossed yeah okay wicked all right so here let's do it we got 22 of you guys we had 24 now we're back to 22 if you guys could thumbs it up we're gonna hit the troller stroller uh so yeah dudes enjoy i'm gonna try to remember to turn my mic back on when we finish is it gonna happen is the question
Fuck. What's up? Where do you think we should go? Like, there's like a like a, a resort. Are the auto crossing in there? Uh, bullshit. But look, they don't even. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sweet. You know, it's funny because, like, last time I opened the trunk, it was, uh, no, I can't open the trunk. Jesus fucking Christ, if I can, get it to open. Maybe this is good because now we don't get the people learning how to drive out here. Anyway, it's funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> there it is. Shit. What are we going to do? I can't wait to try out the new radio. I got a new radio. It's got built-in mixing, which should be good. Oh yeah, and then there's this mess. You can charge through the stop sign. Yeah, the, we got skid the kid. Skid the kids right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> maybe. They're gonna call the cops on us. Like, what, would, what does that look like? I wonder. The kid in the stroller. Like this is. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's okay. It's not. It's not a real human. <laughs> those guys killing that what baby I, in the stroller. Come on, let's get yeah. Well, I guess I gotta go higher than that. Nobody's watching. Damn you, keep your shoes on, boy. Shoes. Oh, it's this reed tape. It used to be on the. Ah, uh, you can pull it off. Yeah, you can even go like a few steps back, but don't. And then, uh, yeah, there it's fine. Like in your shoulder? Yeah, and then I think I'll be able to get you. Yep. Whoa. Nice. Oh, oh my ball shoes. Where's the other one? There, no. Where it was like, this is the best one. <laughs> Isn't that so much fun? <laughs> the shoe falling off, there's so much comedy. Yeah, that is good, yeah. The shoe flying. <laughs> it's the batteries. It would have sucked if I forgot the batteries. I didn't like bring enough zip ties to zip tie them in or anything, but yep. you see new weights in the front. It's a whole new beast. 
Hey. Try it out right away. I think it's fucking try it. Yeah. Shitty radio, but we got a lot of. Turn up, kid. Turn up. Fucking kid. Fucking kid. Who's yeah, true to that so, baby? All the grannies up in the condos here are looking at us. Holy crap. Yeah, so. See how it like goes opposite? One sideways, oh, one oh, And oh. then forward, it's like half backwards. Oh. It's going backwards even though I'm just turning. That's weird. It's just hard to... Yeah, these motors, man, they gotta go. There's no way. They don't want to. Are they hot? Cooperate. No. But they're shutting off. I mean, they're warm. And that you can't adjust that. I don't feel like it has the same amount of power. Oh, maybe because the kid's in it. Maybe because he's going to fall out any second. <laughs> You're going to run him over. <laughs> That's what it's a different fucking. Oh. <laughs> Smart enough. Stay in your goddamn stroller. <laughs> I just thought it's pretty fast. That's fast enough, I think. Yeah, the tuning room is different. Just look at his hair. His hair flowing in the Whoa, 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 wait, whoa. Oh, wait, why? Where are you doing that? Are both motors still running? That's the same rubbing that we had before, no? Yeah, but it's it's not though, because I tightened everything. Like, look, it's smooth. Like you can't right? lean on one side a little bit though. Well, how do we get this slowing down? Where's the speed? Like what happened to the speed? Mm. Maybe there's like a full crack? Yeah, maybe not. I mean, it's 100%, but maybe it needs to be like 110. Hold on. Uh, end point, maybe. Is there a giddy up button? Throttle. Can I like go up? Oh, yeah, I can. Let's just change these all to 120. Uh, enter one. Oh, well, that's steering. Enter. <laughs> yes, give the kid. Yeah, it's weird. Do I gotta go to 6S or something? Is that what we're gonna have to do? Is it? Fuck. Yeah, but then it'll just cause more heat problems with the motor. Yeah, probably. Yeah, throttle. Let's see. Alright, let's see. Something's making a funny noise there on takeoff, eh? Yeah! It's weird because like you have to be on throttle and on steering. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Skid, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe this is where I killed the motors. Although they've been okay. Yeah. 
do a flyby. Maybe I did the the second pitch wrong. Stay in a stroller, stupid kid. Yeah, we all, I'm, I'm straight, I'll go out further and then I'll straighten it out. Jeez, the kid's pulling there. Ooh, the, the, the one wheel went backwards. Or something. What if I do this? It's like, I can get both wheels spinning. Oh, uh, and I killed it. I think I killed it. I killed it? Both of them? One motor died. Yeah, one motor died. Fuck, you like put too much power into it and it just fucking dies. Ugh, let's see how hot. Oh, super hot. Oh, super hot. <laughs> yeah, super hot. Give it a minute. Ah. Oh, it's starting to rain. That'll cool them down. <gasps> yeah, maybe. Or maybe if we just like. So then we can. It's way later now. Oh my god, what did they just do to that kid? How yeah, much yeah, faster it is yeah. without the baby? Oh, that wheel too. <laughs> oh, maybe one, no, the motor died now. Yeah. Too hot. Give it a minute. You got some good miles on it right there. Oh? No, nah, it's one one motor. I think. Oh, there we go. There we go. Maybe give it a minute. Let it cool down. Hit the kids. <laughs> oh no, they like destroy his face. Uh, oh, a little bit. Oh, oh, it scrubbed his nose. He's like, he's getting a little oh, dirty. He's getting a little oh, dirty. Oh, the boo boo. Or is this getting a little dirty? It's fine. It's fine. It's Get fine. Your <laughs> don't want to go straight <laughs> Nice. <laughs> He's sitting a little higher now, eh? Shitty ass. Shitty ass. Yeah, maybe. No, it's not. No, it's good. They're super smooth. Brain's found. It, it hit the brake turn, I think it like breaks on uh, the air. Okay. That's probably why it's heating up like crazy. I mean, it works. It's just not as fast as I want it to be. I kind of have a feeling I gotta order some better motors and then go 6S. 6S. It needs to be 6S. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tornado? Yeah, tornado. Cool. We're making terrible sounds. 
Yeah, you're gonna fuck something up. Yeah. Belts aren't cheap. I should order me. Uh, you know what I mean? Let's see if it cools down. Yeah, yeah, I'll turn them off. The ESCs are cold. It's just the motors are fucking. I think Skid has had enough for right now. Oh, yeah, it's boiling my spit. Yeah. The radio, though, works. Yeah, we'll give it a minute. Yeah, I'm going to switch the steering and then I want to be like do weird things. I guess DR, right? No, steering right. Uh, forward, idle speed, reset, model, endpoint, throttle, export, expo. What the fuck, where is it? Reverse. Steering. No, no, it's not on yet. And then you got to wait a bit because it's got to like engage. Yeah, you probably got it now. Sometimes you don't have to give a throttle to steer it, eh? Like. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, let me fix it. Turn it back. That's weird. Yeah, like you can only really give it steering after it goes. Yeah, I don't have left. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. Making some sounds. Oh, wait, maybe I'll fix them. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. You got to be like quarter. Oh, weird. Magic touch? Maybe. All right, just, they both just died. I think sometimes uh, reverse kills them, or it's just getting too hot. I think it's just getting too hot. Well, I didn't hit the brake. Don't bring it back. I'm doing some weird shit. Oh, oh, poor kid. Oh, poor kid. That's my fault. I need a picture of it. Poor kid. Give it less weight. I feel like it's easier with less weight. Yeah, I think it's working. Uh. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful. Sometimes it'll go. It's just steering is like like a touch, like you can't go. Yeah, once it gets going, okay. It's easier when it gets going, yeah. Oh yeah, that one stops. Yeah, and it goes the other way. You can't, you, can't get out, you can't just run on one wheel throttle. You gotta keep them both going when you're turning. I, I could, in the, in the ESC, I could turn off reverse. And then it would coast. Yeah, I got no right turn now. But can you go straight? Yeah. Oh, here we go. There you go. There you go. A wheel, yeah, a wheel's great. Is 
the steering reverse still? Yeah, right? No, it's good. Oh, right, because I switched the motors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. It's just not nearly as fast as I want it to go. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Look at the Look at that. Look behind. Uh-oh. Just look behind you, like. Look at the kid. Oh, the kid. Oh, it doesn't want to come this way now. Oh, here we go. Nice. They just blasted. Used to it, and then it's good, right? Like, I mean, ish. I think one of those motors might be wound wrong or whatever, and that, in, or maybe I should remove brake, you know? Like, it's just gonna be a forward only, it's gotta be forward only, yeah, totally. Yeah, so I was like, oh, saved it. <laughs> Can I get closer? Yeah. Get fast. Come on. I can't, you can't keep catch it. Not bad? I mean, not great, but not bad. Those fans, I think, really. Those fans made a difference. Yeah, but... that's a little warm. <laughs> warm yeah, that's a little warm. Yeah, that's a warm. Shit. I felt like if you push it, it'll like, it'll start going straight. Yeah, maybe steering is just something we don't really. I didn't bring the fucking thing to fix it. Right, left, right, left, left. So you gotta stay so far into the throttle. Yeah, otherwise, all the work. Otherwise, it wants to go reverse. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. When start, things start going funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a uh, one minute because, like, for it not to kill the, for it not to kill the, um, the gears. Like most RC yeah, ESCs has that delay. It'll break and then stop, and then it'll give reverse after a second. Good. Which is good things, but. Yeah, we got nothing now. Now fuck. She's fucked. She's fucked. She's fucked, Ricky. P H U T T. P H. Look at the kid. There's a kid over there. Oh, he's freaking right Freaking dead kid. Oh, no, now it's working. Oh, that's all I got. That? Here, let me push it. See what happens when we push it. Nothing. Son of a bitch. All right, here, we'll do this. Dead. No. Running pretty hard there. Yeah. Oh shit, something fell off. What's yep, that? Yep, yep. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I know what that is. It's the fan. Oh, we got to find the other screw. The nut? The nut, yeah. Oh, this is the worst part to lose, though. But, uh, it must have fallen off, like, a while ago. Yeah, before that came off? I don't know, it's super bright silver, so it should be pretty easy to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think, hold on, I thought I saw it, like, roll over here. We'll find it. I didn't put Loctite on it, there's no lock washer on it. So... Fudge, this guy. Oh yeah, we should let it cool. Yeah. It off? No, it's just hot, it's like hot. Like the bolt is hot, you know? Must have expanded, oh, I found it. Yeah. Well, unless it's somebody else, no, that's it. Nice, no lock. Oh, oh sorry, bro, bud. 
Yeah, no lock. I sh there's no lock no watchers lock for these. Crush. No lock. No, no I put every crush. crush everywhere except for fucking. This. Oh yeah, maybe we should move them. <laughs> That's the screw. I don't have anything to tighten it with. Yeah. No, that's, everything's tight. It worked out, man. 2.0 is pretty good. I mean, other than the motors being shitty. Other than the motors being really shitty. Rating. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shoot. Baby. We're good. We're fucking kid. Dumb kid. This does look kind of uh, sadistic here, though. Hands are all it's from the factory. Oh shit! Maybe we should put. Let me uh, bring it back. It's okay. Oh. stabilization is like really yeah, good yeah. but uh but yeah and i don't get all and i don't get the whole uh, i don't get the whole thing what about here? oh yeah maybe, maybe yeah yeah i was like zip tie right here i don't Sit up, kid. Yeah, yeah. And smarten up, you little bastard. You're gonna be a dick. Failure like the fuck. <laughs> Radio. Radio.
with you, kid. It like works well when you push it. fucking motors for this thing. More torque. More torque or higher RPM? I guess more torque. Oh, that's hot. Do they have really high torque though? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So melting? No, uh, like maybe a little bit worse. Oh, it's true. Oh, shit. Look at that. No, this is a <laughs> Maybe that's what we're hearing when we're like, rah, 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 just to hear things. Yeah, spot on the left side. Yeah, yeah. Look on the other side. The other side is tight. Just like, just like one more round. Be on the throttle over, not the... Oh, yeah, it's good. Go no, no, if you look at it, it's like got the wheels. Oh, okay. The one with the fucking sizzling too. Well, if you had the steering reversed, you probably have the throttle reversed too. So we might only be running on like 70% throttle reversed. 
pushes forward, right? And then, well, the reverse is set to 70%. So, like, right. So, if 70% reverse is going fast, like, if this is faster, then it. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, run it backwards. See how fast it goes. Why can't it go backwards? Well, because then the mix does some weird shit, right? Where the mix doesn't do... Just for a straight line, it's just rip harder backwards. Yeah, well, that's right. I just tried... I'm gonna try doing... That was the camera, eh? Oh, shit, that's pretty hard. <laughs> oh, my God, did it ever. It's okay, it's still recording. So... Are you broken? Uh-oh. Well, it's not shattered. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. You little bastard. You little bastard. I guess I've done that with the camera attached to it. But it's definitely faster. It's like way fucking faster. Way Shit. Faster. All right, so here, let's try. That's why it wasn't going so fast. It fucking helped. That means the motors are going to really melt. All right, let's try it out. Try it out. I'm going to try to go in just straight. Right, gonna... Should, would it be better if I got it on my phone? Whatever works. I'm gonna go straight. Sure you are. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the speed there. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Fuck. Oops. That's the problem. Oh, some just fell off. Well, just yeah. lost a part. K-pop has lost his nut. <laughs> yes. All right, dudes. Yeah, Skid the Kids here. Just join me. What is up? I didn't forget because I put the thing that said uh, don't turn don't forget to turn on your Mikey dummy. <clears throat> it freaking worked. It freaking worked. All right, so all right, things that we learned. All right, things that we learned uh from this particular test that we were doing. We needed we didn't realize. All right, so like when you're doing tank mixing, you've got channel one and channel two, and they're mixed together with steering. So the problem was that we, you know, I if I turned off reverse in the ESC, then I would have known that I was, you know, that I was like always in reverse. We didn't really realize because it was fast enough still. It wasn't doing wheelies like it was during the first test. And that was kind of a sign. I thought maybe the radio in the mix, it wasn't going to 100%, but it was. It just was going in reverse. And the problem with reverse is that there's a delay in reverse. So when you hit reverse, if you're in neutral and you hit reverse, you're like, you got to count. You got to count to like one, two, and then it takes off. And it's just like a, a pre-programmed feature to sort of save your transmission. If you're, you know, driving a regular RC car and you hit reverse, you don't want it to be going 50 mi you know, miles an hour forward. And then all of a sudden you hit reverse and it goes 50 miles backwards because it will just shatter your drivetrain. So it's like a safety thing. And uh, stupid enough, didn't really realize you know, and then until we we hit it reverse there at the end, uh, the whole thing just tornadoed around so fast. And uh, the last couple of runs that you see me hitting it, I have to baby the throttle because otherwise it will just it'll tip over. It'll just wheelie like nothing. So we I think instead of maybe weighing down the front, which is just adding extra weight, we should definitely just definitely put wheelie bars on it. It's kind of a tough thing to do to like figure out how to make strong wheelie bars I'm thinking maybe I like get one of those grandma grocery carts and just cut off the front with the two wheels and figure out a way to sort of attach it to the back, you know, four inches away from the back wheel so that when it does pitch back, it's got wheels that kind of like knock it back onto the front, which is an idea. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, wheelie bars are going to definitely, de thanks a lot, RC Attic man, for sure. Uh, wheelie bars are definitely needed, TJ, for sure. And uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. Rather watch, learn, you tie your shoes than watch this stroller notch. All right, well, I'm sorry, Eric. Like, uh, you know, the the the, the, sh the edit that I'm working towards isn't going to be just me and Nash hanging out 
on a Saturday running after a stroller that keeps dying on us. So I apologize for the nausea. Uh, I, I don't necessarily think that it's that much nausea, as much nausea that's on YouTube. But uh, this is just sort of a raw, you know, raw look at what we're doing and like how much work actually goes into making something like this work reliably. And uh, and yeah, we've got a lot of plans. We got, you know, we're going to shoot next weekend. We're going to do proper shots, not everything with action cams and cell phones. You know, we got cameras. I got a couple of shooters. Uh, Valino chimed in a little bit during the, the, the show. And uh, he's one of my shooters that's going to help out. You know, Nash is going to be driving. I'm another shooter. We're going to we're going to do this right. And we're going to shoot it. Uh, I, I'm hopefully slightly cinematically and it should be fun. But uh, if we do go to the bowl in the skate park, it's got to be early in the day because we don't want to run into a lot of kiddos on scooters. It's like a plague with those damn scooters. But uh, but yeah. But yeah, no, it's I mean, it's working. It's working. It's going fast. We don't necessarily need more speed. Um, once it was going straight and, and not in reverse, it has more power than we could ever need. And, uh, the only problem is low end torque. So the problem with these motors is that the cogging, cause it's not a censored motor. So there's like a whole bunch of cogging right off the start. So if you were to push the stroller and you get a little bit of speed to get the wheels rolling and then hit the throttle, it, it really evens out and goes straight. But if you go from a dig, it kind of does these weird, like coggy things um, the motors don't match well together. One motor will start a little bit before the other motor, whether I'm assuming that's a winding issue, maybe one, like maybe the resistance in the motor is just like very, like just slightly different from the other motor. So when the ESC spits the same pulse rate, you know, you get this like weird sort of like shimmy that does some weird stuff. Thanks Hillbilly man. I appreciate you dude. Uh, man. Uh, you know, hopefully you didn't drink too much uh, booze and uh, you'll have a good day tomorrow. I don't know. Enjoy booze. Uh, let's see here. Stroller Stewie. That's pretty good. We were calling him Skid the Kid and he's got quite, uh, he's got, he's got a bunch of, oh, I think it might actually see his face, the camera and focus on him. Hilarious. He's already got a bit of a boo-boo. He's got a little bit of a boo-boo there. A little, a little schmuckus, a little schmuckus. Yes. It's fun just to like, to just to, like pretend beat a child is that, is that bad to say that's pretty bad to say i should probably stop saying that i should probably stop saying that. but it's really funny and uh but yeah have a good night hillbilly man hope you have a good day tomorrow let's see here uh skid mark oh that's funny too edward man you guys are on fire tonight um yeah skid the kid mark the skid mark skid the kid mark the skid mark it's pretty good it's actually really good yes hilarious hilarious but uh but yeah uh, sit still, kid. <laughs> I'm gonna turn. <laughs> I'll turn this bus around. Uh, Eric, man, thanks a lot, dude. Uh, no worries, no worries, man. I hope I didn't make you too nauseous, man. Beer and nausea do not mix for sure. But uh, but yeah, no, it'll be fun when uh, when we actually produce the thing a little better and we actually produce the shots. Cause like this is just us screwing around, making sure it works. You know, because there's nothing worse than, like, getting a whole bunch of people, like, five people out to shoot, and then, like, the whole thing just falls apart. So, I just got to make sure this thing's reliable, and then it's, like, working well. And we haven't, we just tried it on asphalt, right? Like, it might, like, what's it going to do in a field? We got to, we got to test that out still. I got to make sure that the front wheels can sort of hold their own. And I got to build a wheelie bar, because, like, if I can build a wheelie bar, then I can remove all of the weight we put on the front. We put out, like, two pounds of wheel weights on the front of this thing and it just keeps adding weight the baby adds weight you know and because it everything just adds weight so we just gotta keep that in mind the batteries are super heavy like maybe maybe i just power it from one 4s and uh and then we just change batteries because that would cut a bunch of weight out as well so like oh now she's telling me to drink what is up all right uh, griptopia man yes it's good it's good. Uh, let's see here, Edward. Yeah, see, they do. Oh, that's a good idea, Edward. All right. Yeah, I don't think about it. I'll think of like, I mean, I'm just trying to do it as cheap as possible, but maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe you're right. Cause it probably doesn't need two wheels. Like, this is another thing that I'm thinking about. I actually been kind of drawing it out in my sketchbook. I don't know if, if you guys will be able to see this because it's probably blow out. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to think do we go, 
you know, do you end up going, uh, I don't know, maybe I didn't draw too many. I was just trying to figure out what to do with the wheelie bars. I think I made, I made it in SketchUp in 3D. But anyway, yeah, maybe it's just one wheel. Maybe it's a, a like a caster that spins 360, you know, um, and it's just one caster wheel a little bit further back that kind of holds it. But then you're going to get kind of a weird tipping. And because we were steering with the rear wheels, we don't necessarily need one wheel. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Skateboard wheels, maybe. I'm trying to think. Maybe skateboard wheels. I don't know. Something like that. Oh, Wicked Ace Man. Thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, in a better angle. I tried. I was thinking that. But then, like, the problem with the tr stroller is that it's, like, made in made of pig iron it's made of uh chinesium so like the problem with it is that like if we try to modify or drill into it it's going to really weaken the thin wall tubing that it's made of and so i'm like really worried about like you know it cracking or just splitting in one spot and then we're screwed i'm actually worried about this thing hitting a curb and just the front wheels just shattering because i feel like that's how this thing's going to end up uh, and you know i'm hoping that we can end up with backflips at the dirt jumps um hoping 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 oh i'm on it i'm on it griptopia delicious time for another one all right yes delicious delicious what else are you guys saying uh and a scooter wheel yeah dude i mean that yeah no edward that you're yeah for sure for sure it's all it's all about just like um mounting it that, that might actually be the challenge um, here you can kind of see, you can kind of see what it's made of in this, uh, in this video. You can see how thin wall everything is. This is just like a, a circular tube that's flattened on one end and bent 90 and then riveted, riveted to this like weird oval shaped piece of metal. Um, so it's a bit tricky to figure out where it's going to bolt to. I was thinking of just like kind of bolting it to, you know, all these screws and you, you joints that i already have i don't know i was thinking of finding something that's got two wheels on it. it's already got a frame you know i cut it and then i figure out some way to like merge the two and add like a third member to sort of hold it third member that's what she said yeah uh you know you know we'll see i'm trying to see if there's like any better footage of that back uh, i don't know how this scaled out yeah i don't know if you can see it yeah, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. you can kind of see it here. Uh, let's rewind it a bit. We can zoom in a bit. You know, you can kind of see how, like, how the crappy construction of this thing. So, like, uh, like cheap tent tubes. Yes, Ace Man, you got it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, no, no. All of these things are great, great freaking ideas. They're definitely welcome for sure. Oh, Lance, man, fucking coming in clutch. Training wheels, dude. Lance, man, MVP, bro. You are, let's, let's freaking genius because it's done. It's like an L bracket with a wheel on it. Like, you know, I could just stick it behind the motor assembly and then it would that's it that's all he, oh man lance man hero bro hero i'm gonna i'm taking him so i can give you a shout out later when i like we figure it out lance took a picture of your name just in case i forget uh oh right i should probably drink more beer let's see me to rum is good tonight yes cryptopia sipping on the rum i want to clamp it use those two balls yeah, shopping cart. Shopping cart might be super expensive uh, or just heavy. Um, yeah, no, Lance. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, who rock, man? Uh, one more beer. It's, uh, you know, it's always, always ends up with two or three. Let's do it. Let's do. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, you can see here. Just you can kind of see the whole assembly. It's just like it's a simple assembly. I didn't want to drill into anything. I didn't want to weld anything. It would have just blown through if I did. So. Uh, let's see. This is me cutting it. Oh, wow. Why is it so dark? It's going all oh, right because it was nighttime. Yeah, you can kind of see the whole assembly. You can see that that's the motor. Like, you know, it was a mistake probably getting this motor. It was like the lowest KV I could find for the size. But this thing is max 5, 5S. And I got 6S batteries. And I was thinking of pushing 6S through it, but it got really hot on 6S. So 
we ended up putting 4S on it. And it's got enough juice. It's got enough power. We don't need more power. But um, I bet you money that that one of these things is going to go up. And it's just going to be magic smoke. It's going to let the pixies out. It's going to totally fry one of these things at some point. The fans actually work really well. I know 10 scale was saying like, yeah, there's, I guess the fans don't work because the motors were getting hot. And yeah, the motors were getting hot, but they weren't getting as hot as when we were running it up and down, you know, the alleyways behind my pad. Uh, it was getting super hot. Like I couldn't touch it. At least when we were running it, which probably on one of the hottest days of the year uh, with all this footage. Um, oh God, this footage. Uh, yeah, it's hottest, most humid day ever. And, uh, and it didn't get so hot that I couldn't like touch it for like two seconds, you know, like I could touch, like it would, it would be uncomfortable, but it wouldn't like give me third degree burns or anything. Like it wouldn't blister my, my thumb or anything, but, uh, yeah, we, you know, it was good times. We had some fun throwing around the kit. Yeah, it was good times. Good times. Uh, well, the, the motors, too, are also their outrunners, right? So the outside spins. And so that's why I put a fan. I, I 3D printed a fan that, that attaches to the outside. And as the motor spins, it spins the fan and the fan pushes air through. The problem becomes when, when you put the brakes on. So when you put the brakes on, the motor magnets, because the motor isn't super big, the magnets just don't have enough strength to uh, oppose the like electromagnets you know what i mean so what ends up happening is you've got these magnets just like rushing through and that energy isn't uh put into the the transmission it's not put into the drive line it's put into heat it's just made into heat so the problem really like really the problem is the fact that we'd have a really poor ratio so we've got a five to one gear ratio of these motors and uh and that means we need really torquey motors and uh yeah and uh and they you know or really big motors with like ma like massive amounts of magnets um on the outside or on the inside you know the pole like the the center pole has got to have like tons of magnets in order to like have enough energy to sort of oppose the 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 leverage the leverage on the wheels you know there's so much leverage on these big massive wheels going through that 5 to 1 ratio that's just like killing it it's killing it it's killing me, killing. Uh, yeah, no, and and you know, I'm actually, you know, what I was thinking about Lance was like doing like a slow drip, like just dripping some water on them, you know, like doing a little like. But then I'm just adding comp, comp, like until it's a problem. You know, we ran this thing a lot, and uh, I think the only time that the the ESC says no is when it like reads some kind of funky resistance in the magnets, and I think that's what what the reason that happens is because we can the torque can stop the motor and if the if the motor if the motor is stopped and the esc is just throwing energy into it the esc is just like nope something's wrong with the motor and it just shuts off you know and it's, a, it's i'm assuming it's a safety it's not a thermal safety it's just like a it's like a load safety there's too much load on the motor and the esc just says ah, i can't give you more than 120 amps to keep this thing moving so i'm just gonna like cut the power i'm pretty sure that's what's happening and i'm assuming what what the reason that's happening is because we're going in reverse um when uh because it's a tank mixing you know you've got like in order to turn a tank one track goes backwards and the other one goes forwards and a lot of the time we're going like 20 miles an hour and i'm trying to turn this thing and and when one wheel lifts up it actually goes backwards and you can kind of hear it in the footage like kind of zipping back and like yeah like uh that's that can't happen so we're gonna we're gonna sh next test uh we're gonna shut off reverse there's gonna be no reverse it's gonna be forward and brake only and we're hoping that that kind of stops some of the weirdness in the steering and kind of like gets it more consistent not only that like we were we were running this thing in reverse the whole time and you know if we put it in neutral and we hit the gas you know there's that delay there's that one second delay before it adds the set it was like 75 percent power in reverse might have even been 50 percent power in reverse so the minute we figured that out when we switched it the whole the thing just wanted to wheelie and flip over the camera just kind of like flipped around so hard hit the ground super hard um yeah so oh pfi speed yeah that's right uh love pfi speed love those dudes what's up ironclad 
hope you're having uh yeah i finished it but not really this is just sort of a test ironclad like we're uh yeah no we're planning a bigger shoot with this to make it like better and trying to kind of get some some sort of viral video out of it so we'll see what happens um there's gonna be some child abuse in it there's gonna be some kid there's gonna be some some kid some, some kid punching maybe not punching maybe the, the karens are gonna get too upset about punching a baby or whatever but like it's gonna be funny hopefully it's gonna be good and uh hopefully we can get this thing reliable and we can get it on single track mountain bike we can get it in traffic it'd be really funny to get this thing in traffic you know i don't know zipping by cars it'd be super hilarious uh in the park just zooming by in the park it's gonna be another really funny one um maybe doing like drag racing like drag racing a car that would be really funny there's just like a whole bunch of funny ones we're taking it to a skate park there's like a 12 foot bowl um on the east side of toronto so we're gonna go there and like i'm gonna try to ride the bowl we're gonna try to ride the bowl with this thing with a kid inside which should be really really funny there's like a whole bunch of plans i've got them all written down uh it's gonna be more than one day of shooting but uh, it should be pretty, pretty great. It's pretty great. Yeah. Oh, King Wally had a chance to hang out with Brent and Cletus and Cars. Super chill dude. Very humble guy. Yeah, man, for sure. Those guys seem like great peeps for certain. Um, yeah, the scale science guys that are local to PFI and, uh, and Boosted Boys before Boosted Boys moved to Florida. Cal uh, Florida. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so man, maybe I'll visit the shop when I go down to Colorado to drift. That would be super cool. Yeah, that would be super cool. Let's see here. Yeah, thanks a lot, Ironclad. Appreciate you, dude. I uh, hope you're having a good Tuesday. Hope it's with a cold beverage. And yeah, and like, stay tuned, man, because like, uh, you know, this is just us screwing around. Like, we're not really, like, this isn't like a, like what I would shoot. This is just like, um like poorly vlogged uh media pretty much because we're just trying to f iron out all the issues so it's, it's tough but yeah yeah anyway we could like move on like i got other stuff um what was i gonna say we've got uh we've got a neighbor update which is pretty cool and then of course we've got sass which should be fun as well what time is it? it's kind of early man wow got through all i could you know i thought this would take a bit longer talking about this stuff but uh but for sure Uh, oh, like motors, window wiper, motor. yeah, yeah, to spray water, you mean, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking like like gravity fed, you know, drip, drip, drip on those motors. That might work. And then with the fan, you know, with the fans blowing air, uh, that could be pretty, pretty great. Yeah, SAS is coming, King Wally, but first we're going to, I mean, it's not a huge update with the, with the neighbor build. But uh, yeah, maybe we should do the neighbor build. I'm going to move on to the neighbor build. Yes. All right. So of course, you know, I was saying I was going to make, you know, the neighbor, I was going to make a clickbait. I was going to do the clickbait, the first livery for neighbor, but I decided against it because it's been so long since I've worked on this project or like at least made a video about it. So I figured, you know, maybe I should recreate the livery. So, you know, there is no real high res images of a neighbor like in profile. So I had to kind of find like the low, I found like the lowest res one. And uh, and I was basically traced it in Illustrator. So I like vectorized the graphics so that, you know, it doesn't matter how far I zoom in, uh, it's not a pixelated image. So you can see kind of, um, you know, this is me working on the edges, but like, do I like show, like, yeah, you can see when I zoom in quite far, it's like quite, uh, you know, unpixelated. You can see in the top here, so you can see the top one. Um, that one is just, this is like my uh, guide, you know, is like this super fuzzy, uh, like pixelated image from a photograph. And uh, and so it was actually quite, um, it was actually quite tough to, to get it right. Not, well, I mean, I'm not gonna pay for fonts, so like the security font is a little different it is a little different maybe it's a lot of different 
but uh, I'm just not going to pay $20 for font for this livery. So especially not an ug super ugly font, like the one that the Sarah font that is the security there. So, you know, I just found one that I th thought was the closest and I had to like fake italicize it or whatever. And then also the Freedom Factory, I found the right font, but they had modified the Freedom Factory font a little bit. They've added that those R's, the R's have like a, uh, like a tail, like a sharpened like end to them. And, uh, and also sort of the center of the R and the center of the A is a little different. I didn't go that far because like, I don't think you're going to see it in 10 scale at all, you know, like at all. So I just did that. So, oh, Edward, you've been watching in 240p. All good. All good. Uh, I don't know if it's much better. I'm sure it's like only 720 and I'm, um, but yeah, they look pretty good. Right. King Wally is pretty good. Tracing isn't cheating. I mean, I mean, what? Heck, yeah, of course it's not cheating. I mean, I'm recreating it for God's sakes. I got to trace it. What else am I going to do? I'm not going to like redesign it, Cryptopia. Make my own version of the of the thing. But um, but yeah, no, no, tracing isn't cheating, man. It's uh, yeah, the the best you know what the best creators steal. I, I can't remember the the term for that, but uh, yeah, you can see here. Here I found like a Crown Victoria perfect. Um, just profile image of the crown Vic. Oh, King. Well, I don't know if the, I don't highly doubt he's, um, you know, copyrighted the, the livery design. Also, I'm not selling it. So, uh, you know, I, okay. Obviously I'm, I'm, uh, I'm having too many, be there's too many beers already. I'm taking you dudes too seriously, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Thanks guys for sure. Um, yeah, you can see here, I'm just like turning it on and off just to kind of see, like, there's going to be, I have to kind of do a little tweaking. Cause like, I didn't realize like security's a little bit, uh, too far clockwise. It's got to like turn a little bit. Freedom factory has to do the same and motion works has to go down. Cause motion work is actually, is actually on the, um, like side skirt. It goes on the side skirt really. And then obviously, oh, also. I mean, maybe I, I get to it over here. Oh, no, I don't. I also have to add the fun haver. There's a little um, white font in the top right corner of this thing, of this the blue line there. And it says fun dash haver. So I have to do that. And I also have to do the for Ed Ford logo, which I found a good version of that. So I have to like scale that. And I got to find some place that prints on sort of flexible vinyl. That's going to be a hard one. I got to find a place that has a printer that prints prints opaque pigments so that they'll print on top of white. I don't know, or, to, or on top of clear would be the best. And uh, yeah, and then uh, so I can cut it. It needs to be flexible. It needs to be like a plastic vinyl so that when I apply this thing, I can use, you know, Windex. And I can use a heat gun and I can get the whole thing to stretch really nicely over, over the body of the uh, neighbor project uh yes uh but what if it's a doll then do i do you have more problems if it's a doll? i, I don't know i don't know uh, yeah yeah for sure lance no for sure man uh key it's key man like I, people are always like i don't know how like what am i gonna paint my drift body like how do you do liveries you you steal designs man like liveries are the hardest thing to do in my opinion, in terms of graphic design, because you have so many curves on a body. And I feel like the only way you get good at it is by like copying other designs and kind of figuring out how they like tackled, you know, design elements or whatever. That's like the best way to do it, I think. For any anything, like you watch a watch a video edit and then you like try to copy it and it gives you a better understanding. All right, I'm in. Oh, monster parts. Yes. Okay, cool. Where are you, Monster Parts? I forgot where you are in the world. Uh, I'm not rubbish at Illustrator. Oh, sweet. Griptopia, man. Thanks a lot, dude. Like, I'm not that good at uh, Illustrator only because, like, I guess I didn't really show. Maybe I can show. Do I have Illustrator open? Um, I'm not very good at splining, uh, like, straight lines. So, like, there's, like, more dots. There's more points along that like swoosh that then there should be this like uh swoosh, where is it this like swoosh here is like not quite the same the stars are pretty close 
I'm just kind of lucky that uh, whoever Cletus gets to do his designs um, isn't actually that much better at Illustrator than me. Because like, if you were really good at Illustrator, this would all be fades and like, and it would look way better than just like uh, fat drop shadows outlined with white. Like there's some weirdness here that's just like, maybe it's because it's like a cop, you know, he's trying to be like, maybe, I don't, I don't know if that's like a Florida police livery kind of like they're stealing that design to make it look like a police car i'm not sure uh oh an acrylic gel transfer you mean like hydro dipping eric are you talking about hydro dipping i don't know Kim, what are you saying making liveries and floors that make me want to punt kick again <laughs> uh, yeah right like dude rough it's rough i don't know like it's hard because it and then, I, like, and you're doing it in Illustrator in two dimension. It's like it's weird. You end up putting it in in 3D, and then it just doesn't look good. So it's like a whole other world of pain. I feel like once you transfer it to three three dimension to the third dimension, it just <clears throat> it just ruins it. But um, but yeah, it's you know you can kind of see me fiddling around with it. Uh, but yeah, it's I mean. I don't know. I'm trying to get this thing done because, like, I feel like I've been a little lazy with it and just, like, drifting more than I should. Well, that's okay. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying to still have fun. It's tough. Because, uh, you know, you got to, like, it becomes work after a while. So, Monster Parts likes cats. All right. They are tasty. All right. All right. Wait, what did you say? Where were you from? Monster Parts. Oh, in L.A uh los angeles yes yes that's far that's far i'm gonna see um monster Wars, i'm gonna see if um jordan at scale science i think he i don't know if he quit but he i think he works at one so i'm hoping that uh maybe i can i can hit him up and then maybe if, if that doesn't work i'm gonna try local because like local i might be able to get it like tomorrow instead of like you know so long you know weeks Oh, yes. Fond memories. All right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, people have cats. All right. I used to have a cat. This is the great, it was a great cat. Um, and then he passed. Poor guy. Poor Albert. Big Al, man. Cheers to Big Al. Cheers to your cats. Uh, snuggle up. Drink a bunch of beer. I don't know. I don't know what else you do with cats. Just, uh, I guess, stay out of their way, I think. Awesome. All right, let's move on. Let's do SAS. Yeah, let's do scale as Shiza. All right, dudes. Hashtag scale and shit! Yes, dude. So if you guys are on, in, in, if you're on Instagram and you're posting images of your RC projects, don't forget to add hashtag scale as S H I T. Uh, on your uh, Instagram posts, because then I'll shout you out, man. I'll shout you out. That, and also, I have a Facebook group uh, by the same name, of course. It's K-Pop RC on Facebook. Uh, join. If you haven't been accepted, um, it's because you haven't been a Facebook member for more than three months, and you've got weird friends, or I don't think you're a human being, all right? So just a heads up. If you're, you know, message me. Tell me you're human. Tell me that, yeah, maybe this is just like your fake account so that people don't think you play with toys all the time. I don't know. Whatever. Just let me know you're a human and uh, and I'll add you. But uh, just a heads up. If, you, if you're a new member as of like March of 2021, uh, I don't, I, and, you're, and your profile picture is like an animated face or something stupid or you only have one friend, I mean, then I'm sorry. But just let me know that you're a real person and you only have one friend. And I will add you to the group. whatever. Anyway, but we're going to go right to the Facebook group because, like, I kind of uh, shafted those people in SAS because, like, you know, it's not on Instagram. But, uh, but yeah, oh, yeah, right. And also, if you guys are on TikTok, if you guys are with it, if you guys are, you know, with all the, like, you know, 13 to 18-year-olds that are, like, on hardcore on the TikTok, um, yeah, I joined TikTok. I couldn't use K-pop RC as the handle because of course it's uh, taken by a bunch of really feminine looking uh, male uh, Koreans which is fine that's great 
love they love the the Korean pop music and that's totally cool. So I had to make a handle and it was uh, official K-pop RC. If you guys are on TikTok and you want to hang out or not hang out, but just like follow me on there, then uh, yeah, Cryptopia apparently is not cool enough to be on TikTok. Neither am I, man. Look, check it out. I've only got six followers, but uh, but yeah, no, no. I've, a lot of people are on the Facebook group. It's just uh, there's like I think six of them that like don't. I don't think they're human beings and maybe I think I'm right. Cause like if you only have 50 friends, but you're part of 4,000 Facebook groups. Yeah. Not happening. Not happening. Uh, they don't eat your RC. Yeah. Well, some of them do, man. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's see here. Oh, it's the acrylic gel medium and a laser print print in reverse. And you'd hear, Oh, I don't have a color laser printer, but maybe, Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, pro the only thing I see with this being an issue, Eric, is that it if it folds, so like uh, the Crown Vic has got like a lot of curvature. So at least with vinyl, if I screw up, I can just kind of peel it back, heat it with the heat gun, and then like push it down, which is like kind of what I'm just have more experience with. So I might, might do that before like uh, tick what, Nash is saying? Monster Parts is on the talk. No con, just my cat. All right. I mean, I, I hear you guys. I hear you guys loud and clear. Uh, it's fine. You guys don't have to follow me on, on TikTok. Um, <laughs> don't blame me. I don't blame you. I just thought I would, you know, thought I would extend the invite. What's up? All right. Let's see here. So this is the Facebook stuff. So here you go. Um, yes. Gear guy. Gear guy. Ricardo, man, got his t-shirt in the mail so he's sporting the k-pop rc t-shirt if you guys want a t-shirt you know uh super chat me five bones get in the raffle and now uh, one of the raffle prizes will be one of these t-shirts so you can do that or uh just like below in the description you can uh you can like buy one or you can uh visit kpoprc.com and get one super super um kind of crappy plug there but uh yeah that would be great. And here uh, you can see your guy won last the last raffle, and he got his cage. It does he does say there that there were a few broken pins, which is too bad, but uh, nothing. A little bit of super glue won't fix for sure. Um, yeah, man, sweet, sweet. So he got it. He got it. Uh, oh wait, who is this guy? I think I posted it. Paul uh, McNamara. McNamara. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Anyway, he's doing like a six scale like Escalade. I think it's an Escalade that he's like filling with stuff, which is pretty cool. Like he's like, you know, filling in those light buckets. I, I don't know if it's a new bright body or what. Uh, let's see here. Who is this guy? Mark Mache Machowski. 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 Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, this dude, I think he's local to the uh, Scale Science dudes, and uh, that is a sick Hilux right there. Uh, it, it's uh, I thought they were domes, man. I thought I thought those were like straight up domes. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, does that does, does this look a little bit like like some like protection? No, is it? Do these look like domes? I'm I'm like I might be wrong. They're, they're not domes. Because it's like totally, uh, what's it called? Uh, pinky? No, not pinky. I can't remember. One is Powerpuff Girls, which is super sick. I love that color combo, the pink and that like army green sort of like olive color is super sick. Oh, wait, let's see. It says here. Uh, I'm sure you guys already in the comments are like, it's this. Uh, Dexter's Laboratory. Look, those are sick wheels too. Oh, my God. Dude, that looks sick. And I like how you you painted the, uh, the flares black. Um, it's all about the outline on the windows. Dude, that looks so sweet. So sweet. That test tubes for sure, but they definitely look like domes. No? Yeah, no, I remember Dexter's lab. Uh, some top stuff here for sure, man. For sure. Wait, wait till you see the front. Oh, no, I guess maybe I didn't have the front. Oh, I thought I had the front. Come on. Oh, yeah, no front. Okay, well, I guess I don't have the front. Josh got his 3D printer working, uh, and he's been printing. Not apparently, he's been printing nonstop. 
This is just like one of those Ender 3 Pros. I think they're like 230 bucks or something. And uh, and if you can tune them just right, they actually print print really, really well. And you can see here he's got like some kind of filament that's got a fade on it. So you can see uh, this like tox, like basically Toxic Avenger. Yes, John, man. Appreciate you, dude. Um, let's all right, fingers crossed for you, man. That'd be awesome. Uh, domes. <laughs> yes, Mile High. Yes, man. That's a sick wagon. Datsun, yeah, Datsun wagon. Yeah, 510. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, and uh, what was this? Yo, yo mentis. Yo mentis. Yo mentis. Yo mentis. I don't know. I can't. I can't pronounce your name. I feel your pain though, because no one can pronounce mine. So it's all good. But uh, he threw some shade at me because uh, you know I was super. I was super wasted when I did SAS like two weeks ago. And uh, what does he say? I don't normally have time to watch the entirety of Tall Can Tuesday streams, but I love watching the scale as segments the day after just to see my boy Clay miss the best parts of the projects I post. Yeah, man, throw, throw in some shade. Totally. I don't blame you one bit, man. I'm just going through it fast, and I've got a lot of like liquid courage. Um, wobbly pops up in my face. And also, I don't know, like, I mean, I don't follow drift, like, drift culture so closely to know really what's up. But I appreciate you teaching. So, so you, so you thought you'd post some context. This is my recreation of Drift Games Corvette. So, so there's a Corvette called Drift Games Corvette. Let's see, Drift Games Corvette. I'm trying to, like, find it uh, so we can, like, see what it looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, he and he did a really good job. Let me see if I can uh, get a photo of it. They're all just damn videos. Come on. Oh, here we go. Open image. Oh, that's not a big image. Come on. Facebook and your stupidness. Okay, open image and a new timeline. All right, save image as. All right, guys, I'm sorry. It's like there's like 50 steps in order to get this thing into Premiere. And like, of course, it takes me like forever to do it where are you all right all right all right boom all right boom so he did this corvette right here which i mean we're talking about liveries and like i don't know if it would necessarily be my favorite livery only because like you know those dudes you see girls too that have like tattoos but they just like don't flow into each other they just look like the equivalent of a sticker book it's like you're gonna like a little sticker here and put a little sticker there. Like, I guess it's cool that they're all white. The logos are all white, but like it doesn't flow with that gold swirl. You know what I'm saying? Um, still, uh, what a like he did like actually a really good sick representation of that. So that's actually kind of cool. But um, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, and then I of course I wrote I blame the beer and of course uh, I'm right. It was the beer and just my lack of knowledge. Um, let's call it the beer though, and not so much the lack of knowledge, even though it's totally what it was. It doesn't matter. All right. Jake Carsey on his new project. That looks like some kind of like Lotus super seven, maybe Lotus super seven that he's doing. I'm assuming looks pretty good. Vanity tattoos. No, it's just, it's just crappy when it's just like little ones, you know? And then you're like, what, like, are you a sticker book? Like, what's going down? Uh, oh, right. Let's see here. GTA Los Santos car meet recreate your GTA. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm down grip Toby. I don't think I've ever played GTA five online. I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I've like shell shock from like call of duty days. And like hearing those little kids that their balls haven't dropped yet, but they're like machines that like kill people. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. Let's see what else you guys are saying here. Yeah, vanity tattoos. Anyway, we'll keep working. J uh, Jake Carsey, man, that looks pretty sweet. Uh, can't wait to see the finished product or whatever. Oh, yeah, okay, Griptopia. Griptopia posting on the Facebook page. And uh, my God, man, uh, is it the model that looks so good? Or is it um, just like your your skills with the, with the freaking rendering software, man? Like, look, like, you know. 
just a heads up, dudes, if you guys want to like create textures in 3D, you got to like apply textures to everything, right? So like, you know, maybe this is part of the texture map and you just pick it, but like, I know that's glass, right? So you have to make it, you have to give it some kind of refraction. Same with the, you know, shiny bumper and the bumper is more shiny than the paint. Uh, also sick how the, the door was still not shaded. So like, you know, it looks like primer. I don't know if that's on purpose. Maybe you just like didn't get there yet. But my God, does it ever look good? Yeah, Matt, this looks so good. Uh, oh, yeah, he's just slime, spline patch octane renderer. Dude, Japanese, man. Uh, but it looks so good. It looks so good. Um, yeah, and you can see here, like, it almost looks like you put RC wheels in there. Like, you had the, the stretch on there. And they're, like, slick tires or whatever. It looks so good. Yeah, man, you gotta, like, share this model with me, man. We gotta figure out how to make it fat, and I gotta print it out. Because, like, man, this would make a sick drifter. And it would look so much better than the Lexan, right? Because it's, like, hard body. That would be so cool. Uh, yeah, and then, of course, Matt, um, Cryptopia posted his, like... I guess, I'm assuming like fifth scale, but probably like fourth scale dune buggy sort of like chassis thing. It looks like a two stroke. I can't really see, but I'm I'm assuming that's a two stroke engine there. You're probably using like a Baja, HPI Baja like transmission. Maybe, maybe the whole rear plate of a Baja. I'm not sure, but uh, let me know, man. You need more pictures of this thing like close up so you can see what's up, man. Because that looks pretty great. Sand, like... Need paddles on there though, maybe. For sure, one eighth, sick. So awesome, so awesome, so awesome. Uh, and then again, Riptopia again, man. MVP, like, Lord, good Lord, doing some cool stuff. Um, love the wheels, rotiforms. No, what are they? What are these things? I'm so bad with wheels. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here you can see like the actual render. Uh, which looks super great. And actually, I think it's funny because Derek is like, I love that it's floating. And I'm like, oh, dude, I hope you know that it's like, I'm sure he knows. That's just the computer rendering. That's how good it is, you know? Man, it got so much better than V-Ray, like Rhino and V-Ray. Let's see here. Aluminium. Nice. Welded aluminium. Nice. The UK way. The Queen's English. The Queen's English. Uh... Oh, probably not yet, man. No, no. Uh, scale addiction, not yet. I'm just still on Facebook stuff, so I'm going to, like, keep going. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, Griptopia was, was, was posting. He said, uh, thanks for the love. So, this is just, like, another reason you should definitely join the group because it's, like, a community there on Facebook. But this is uh thank you for all for, for the love people. I made this in honor of Mr. K pop, his creativity and the platform he has made uh, that is bringing so many people together that love the hobby and being creative and actually making things they want. One of the things in society that is missed 100 years ago, father, mother would hand carve or sew a toy for their children. Uh, no, it's my toy. I'm not giving it away to any freaking kids i'm just kidding because no one made it or they couldn't get a place to buy it or simply they couldn't afford it making and creating what we love brings joy to my like-minded people and stops us from being depressed about bigger issues here here man cheers to beers bro rc rc antidepressants for creative people love and respect to my fe fellow petro heads and uh and brushless brains man couldn't have said it better myself man cryptopia glad to have you around for sure, for sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, and then Derek's there. Sick build, super clean. Love how it's floating there for the shot. So I don't know. I don't know. Did Derek, you, know, you probably know. There's no way you don't know. Maybe it was a joke. That it looks so good. That, you know. And then, yeah, Gordon got his shirt, so he posted that. Eric's got a sick sailboat. It's too bad there was no wind for him to tack that thing around. But, uh, or maybe it was good that there was no wind, so he didn't have to tag that thing around, because that, I wonder if that thing even has, like, a motor so he can, like, troll it around. It'd be super cool. Uh, let's see here. Curtis um, Mamula. Curtis Mamula posted his, like, you know, his team, 
uh, some super sick cars here. Um, you can see sort of the rust that he created on this uh, Sylvia. I'm assuming it's a Sylvia. Love the dude in there. Super cool. Super cool. Just missing the Ganadors. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to zoom out for that one. How do I do that? Yes. Another um, Hilux. Another Hilux, man. I need to get one of these bodies. I've got a couple on order, so we're going to definitely raffle one of the Lexan bodies off. Um, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Probably late September. Not sure. But, um, but yeah, man. God, I don't know what it is about these, like, small, tiny Yodas that I just, like, just love them. I freaking love them. Right, here's another one from his team, man. Love the oil cooler. It looks super cool. Uh, like a yellow guy. Like, I love the rims matching. And I like, like, the shiny livery, man. That looks so good. Looks so good. Yeah, Curtis, man, posting posting it up on Facebook. And uh, Kobe Stovey. Kobe Stovey, man, got a uh, Baja Ray. Oh, yeah, Losi Baja Ray. Yeah, these things are sweet if you find. I mean, they suck to work on. Like, if you have to replace anything in the front diff, it sucks balls. If you have to take the whole cover off, it sucks balls. But they're so fun to drive that it's kind of worth the pain. You know, it's, like, worth the pain for sure to get one of these things. But, uh, but yeah. Wicked. That wing is awesome. Yeah, the wing. Oh, yeah, this wing. This wing, or are you talking about on here, man? Because the wing on here is pretty epic as well. If I can, if I can move it. Yeah, look at the wing there. Yeah, it's an epic wing for sure. I mean, it's funny because, like, I remember just being a kid and, like, when we were looking for new CRX chassis and, like, a lot of people would cut their own sunroofs into cars and it would just be like no no you oh you put your own sunroof in here yeah no we don't want i don't want the car anymore fuck we had to drive so far to find out the guy like used like silicone i mean i guess with an rc car it's fine or whatever because it's totally cool but uh in real life man just like seeing this kind of like sunroof just like i don't know why it angered me so much as a kid i guess because it was like Oh, cheap car, affordable, you know, sweet restoration project or whatever. But then, no, you cut the roof. What did you do? What did you do? Uh, scale is for sure, man. Absolutely love it. Anyway, okay, we should switch. Hold on, I got to switch. I got to stop screen sharing and then share the other screen. Uh, let me make sure I've got it up here. Yeah, I do. I do. All right, sharing the screen. Let's see here. Share. All right. So Instagram. So if you dudes are on Instagram and you're posting, you know, cool projects, don't forget to add hashtag scale as S H I T. And uh, oh, should I refresh it? Oh man. All right. Let me just uh, hold on a sec. Let me uh, refresh it because you guys may have added some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Come on, internet. There you go. All right. All right. Wicked. Let's let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. All right. So these are the top posts, which is super cool. I don't know. This dude made like the coolest scale. Oh, of course it's make it or see. I don't know why I didn't notice that right away. Anyway, look how sweet make it RC's chassis builds are, man. That looks so good. No wonder this thing is like top posts in hashtag scale is SHIT. Man, so good. He's got a new video up. Go check it out. Anyway, most recent, yes, micrometer, uh, cow, uh, what are they called? Uh, oh, gosh. Why can't I remember the name of these things? Oh, I'm so blanking. Uh, digital caliper. Digital caliper. All right. So digital caliper. If you do not have one of these things and you were working in RC, get one. I mean, you can get really crappy ones for like 40 bucks, 30 bucks, 20 bucks even. You can get plastic ones, 20 bucks. Um, on Amazon, and they will save you so much pain, so much hassle. I'm sure you guys all know what these are and how you can measure um, three different ways with them. Maybe there are more than three different ways that you can measure with them, but uh, super sick. And the new ones are auto turning off, which is great because my old one, you'd leave it on and it would just like vernier calipers. Yes. Yes. Right. Vernier calipers. 
en français. Écoutez, écoutez. Anyway, all right, moving on. Uh, John, man, that looks sweet. That Jeep body looks amazing. You've got the coolest builds. I'm glad your 3D printer uh, is almost up and running. You got to level the bed so you can you can start making stuff again, like with the 3D printer to support all these awesome builds because uh, they look super, super good. And I don't know why I haven't liked it. So I better. Um, let's see here. Gear Guy. Oh, my God. Check it out. Gear Guy's working, working on the K-pop Zero Flux Hilux. Man, uh, it's so awesome to see this thing getting put together looks like you've got oh heads up just a heads up if you are if this is going on a d5 chassis gear guy hope you're hearing this um and you know the motor rotations backwards so flip the diff flip the diff 180 man flip the diff 180 and everything will be fine but uh but yeah it looks sweet and also if you want print sleeves to you know tie in uh, all the parts i don't know if you want to do that but you can't Let's see here. Uh, King Wally, man. King Wally, I wonder if you're still watching. But uh, nothing better than seeing the scratches from drifting, hitting the wall or whatever, and uh, and scratching up the bumper stickers, man, because that is like pure fire. Like you can't, you can't fake this. And if you did fake it, then good work, my friend. That looks super awesome. Yeah, so into that. Looks so good. Let's see here. Uh, is Koviat chick. Koviatchik. I'm not sure. Eight months of work, lots of money will get you 48 inches of RC hydroplane performance. Dude, that thing looks pretty sweet. Um, I wonder, is it like, tell me it's like jet, like it's like a jet prop or whatever. What is that called? You know, where the jet, the jet gases spin a turbine and then it spins an axle. You know what I'm saying? If it's not, whatever, that thing looks amazing and you can tell. It looks like more than eight months of work for sure. Home street. That thing looks sweet. Don't flip it. Whatever you do, don't flip it. Ooh, 3D printing a cigar boat, man. Definitely scale as Shiza for sure. Look at that, man. Looking good. Looking like you might have some like adhesion, bed adhesion issues there, but everybody does. So super scale, man. Whipping out this like amazing build. Unless he's added more stuff to it, not sure. But this thing is super, super sick. And uh, I should be posting that thing up a lot because it deserves a lot of praise. Scale Japan. I'm not sure. What, is this a whole 3D printed there? No, I don't know. Maybe he like... I'm looking at this thing. I'm like seeing some parts that I recognize. But like maybe... Let's see here. MST RMX 2. All right. For a while, I had a carbon Corvette on my RMX, which really restricted in terms of space since I'm selling it and doing a different body. Mess around with the setup. Biggest gripes. Insane amount of slop in the front suspension. I had to design a slider track. Uh, all right. So he redesigned the whole steering, added a sliding track. So basically like a rack and pinion like slide section, which makes a lot of sense. But that looks super cool. Um, yeah, like when it looks stock, like... Dude, pro. You can kind of see the 3D printed part here, that like uh, rear front bulkhead there. And I think this is all printed. I'm not 100% sure, but man, looks good. Looks freaking really good. Damn. Except it looks a little bit like a monster truck here. I don't know. I don't know why it's so high off the ground. Maybe that's a setup thing. Maybe he just needs to for the body. I'm not sure. But scale underscore JP. That looks so awesome. Uh, Kakruf, Kak, Kakruf, Greg, man, what is that? Subi. Oh no. And it's a two door man. You lucky bastard. They're all rusted out here. In Canada, man. They're all rusted out. I keep drooling over these, these, uh, 22 B wannabes on, uh, bring a trailer, man. I want one so bad. So bad. Uh, yeah. Online God hobby guy, man. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. I should drink more beer. Delicious. All drift scars, my friend. Yes, man, for sure. Let's see here. Hydro is badass. Yeah. But yeah, please share that. Uh, Cryptopia is right, man. King Wally, man. Share that bumper sticker for sure. Let us know where you got it or, uh, or make it and sell it to us because we'll buy it. 
Uh, scale J, uh, Japan nice, clever setup for sure. Elbow cough. Uh, thumbs up, everybody. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. High line drift, man. Looks sweet. That Datsun pickup truck is just looking fire. Looking fire, man. All you got to do is add those body lines, man. Just get a, like a Gundam or like a thin piece of vinyl and just like fill these spots. You know, put a little dab black in those holes. Man, I don't know. Uh, but I'm sure that you had just finished this thing, so you're probably just like getting to it. Love the like front. The, everything about this is sick. Oh, it looks so good. Love the rim choice too. Looks so good. RC World Shop, man. Go, guys, go check out RC World Shop. He's got a good selection of bodies. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for something obscure, this dude's usually got it. Um, not only like crawler stuff, like mostly drift stuff. So it's super cool. Um, so don't forget to follow RC World Shop for sure. Erbium, man. Erbium, man. I just like flattered this dude even like he uses my hashtag because like every time I see his builds, I just like always, you know, you know, he always end up with a chubby, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, I do, I do the same thing, like just so you guys, so his body didn't come with uh masking, right? So what he did was he laid masking tape over the windshield and used uh, like a Sharpie or a Gundam or like a fine liner marker and traced out, you know, after probably chasing it with his finger, and then he found the lines, and then he transferred it onto, I guess, a piece of cardboard, but I, I usually transfer it onto um, pre-mask vinyl, you know? You get this, like, low-tack, um, like, big roll of low-tack. Uh, I don't have it out here. Um, like, masking tape, basically. And then that's how I transfer all of my um, templates. But this looks super sweet. Oh, so nice. So he's creating the black edge that goes behind the glass. <sighs> dude. Yeah. I mean, dude. Like, this is uh, this is what separates, you know, a hobbyist from just, like, somebody who's just, like, so perfect at everything. Look at this thing, man. Look how perfect that is, that edge there. And that, it, like, everything is so nice. I want to know what... I want to know what masking tape he uses that's like that sticks really well. Like this is so cool too. God, man, of course. That looks super sweet. Looks super sweet, man. God. Delicious, man. Delicious. Delicious. Erbia, man, I know. He's like the king. Like if you guys aren't following that guy on Instagram, you should, man. Freaking Erbia. Yeah, I know, right? Insane. Insane. Insane work. Drift Spec RC with his uh, with his crew. Love the photo. Dude, man, like it's all about the S curves and photography and the curves. Like this is how you do it. This is how you do it. You don't need to always get everything in the frame. You just like, oh, man. He knows how to take photos, this guy, for sure. Hell, Billy, man. Hopefully this thing is still running well for you. Uh, love this thing. It's the uh, TRX, but it's the tr tracks version. So it comes with these like crazy tracks, which are super cool uh so into it looks like you have to get some gpm parts maybe you didn't have to but uh maybe you got some upgrades maybe it's these aluminum pieces not 100 percent sure i uh thought i burned out my steering servo but it ended up being the plastic servo horn stripped out okay so we got a metal servo horn uh definitely a worthy upgrade for sure especially for crawlers so much torque in here uh yeah no i have yeah no i've been buying the tamiya stuff which is pretty good, but it doesn't, I don't know, necessarily know if it stretches as nice. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The teal green stuff. Okay. 3M rice paper teal green. Okay. I'm going to look for it. Yeah. I got some, some parts for them as well. They've been, they've been holding up for sure. Oh man. Another wicked build that's like, is it RC or is it real? Um, it is RC, but it, like, I don't like, it might not be, I guess the stump. It's funny that the stump and the blades of grass is what gives it away. But uh, Tan Van 01, man, this thing looks super sweet, super sweet. Love the rims. The, I guess they're RC four-wheel drive steel rims. Like, you don't have – no flash needed, man. No flash needed. 
this thing is awesome. And I love the camel cigarette sticker in the back there. It looks so freaking good, man. Good Lord. Oh, man, it's all about the details. Look, this is all black here, but it's like a matte black. Tan van, man. Awesome. And you look at your kids even helping you out. Look, it's like, what? I don't even want to know, man. I don't even want to know. But I'm assuming it's custom built. Jesus Lord. Okay, yeah, it's custom built. Ah, man, I, I swear to God, these SAS shoutouts just always make me feel bad about how <laughs> crappy I am at building stuff. Anyway, slide theory, add RC. Yeah, looks sick. I love this thing. This thing looks sweet. I love the, the pipes. Oh. Anyway, another great photo. I mean, maybe with the house. What's the other way? You know what I'm saying? But it looks, looks good. I'm into it. I'm into it. I guess these are smaller. Uh, yeah, 24 scale. So it's like even harder to take photos 124 scale because, you know, everything's macro. So it kind of like flattens out your perspective a little bit more. Oh, double clutch productions, man. This thing is sweet. I freaking love the logo. I'm a big sucker for murdered out cars that are just all black. I don't know what it is about just like all black cars, but uh, man, that looks so good. And it's wheeling and there's a driver. Come on, come on. Oh, and he's got the sweet light bar. This is the, this is the um, axial light bar uh, that I bought for the uh, oh twin hammers. Yeah, man, this thing looks sweet. Uh, good job. And I think it, it is. It's got to be a. Um, is it a replica of something? Am I crazy? Yeah, go go check out Double Clutch Productions on YouTube. Link in the bio. And I think he's got his uh, build series there, which should be super sweet. Uh, yeah, totally. Later, RC boat fanatic man, have a good uh, yeah, have a good night, man. School is more important than Tall Can Tuesday, for sure. Let's see here, uh, double clutch production. See, there's more of them. Yeah, man, that looks sweet. Love love all the stickers. Ah, oh, looks so good. And what is it? That looks familiar. Hmm. Associated. No, I don't know. DB10. I don't know. I don't know what chassis it is, but it looks good. That will freaking free a little bit of freedom there. Looks good. Looks good. Sasquatch RC, man. Yes. Your lighting is good that you can use slow-mo. It's so awesome. Loving it. Twinning it. Twinning it. It's the shreddy. Ah, right. <laughs> nice. Love it. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, let's see. What do you think? Light coat of clear to seal the tape. Kiwi gone, man. Blowing my mind, bro. Damn, I got to get some clear. All right. I will. I will do that next time. Because nothing worse than you spending all this time and then it just lifts a little, you know? And you're like... And it's well, I mean, I have the like Tamiya Lexan cleaner that I'll use with like an with like a oh man, Q tip, and I'll like clean up the lines. That usually works pretty well. Oh yeah, double clutch, man. This thing is so sweet. I love the shots, especially when it was just rolling. Oh yeah, bro. King man, this looks so freaking good. So freaking good. Ah. <sighs> Man, it makes me want to build one of these things. So sweet. So sweet. Uh, sick video, too. Loving it. Come on. Yeah. Boom. Loving it. Can't can't say enough. A Hoonigan sticker there. Jeez, looks so good. Oh, yeah, here we go. Scale Addiction. I don't know if you made it. You're still here. It'll be super early for you in the morning tomorrow. But uh, yeah, Scale Addiction is doing like a Wrangler. Wrangler? It's a Wrangler, right? It's some kind of Jeep. Uh, does it say Wrangler? Jeep Wrangler. All right, so he's doing the Jeep Wrangler. Looking pretty good. I'm assuming this is straight out of the printer. So, of course, Scale Addiction likes to spend a whole bunch of time like cleaning up the print. I'm, I'm also wondering if this one has been 100% printed using... Oh, resin printing, because it kind of has that resin printing vibe to it. Especially here, you can see kind of in the back here. 
So, oh yeah, Wicked. He's here. Wicked. Is it resin? Is it resin? Wait, there's more, right? Oh, no, I don't know. I'm going back. I can do this. Yeah, and then, of course, you were, like, working on these, like, these crazy breaks, which looks sweet. And that's totally resin printing for sure. Uh, here you can see his resin printer. And his freaking Ender going, going, you know, side by side. Super sweet. Super sweet. The man, the myth, the legend right there. What's up? Let's see here. Uh, no, it's, oh, no, it's, F okay, so it's FMD. Looks really good, man. Looks really good. For sure. For sure. Yeah, loving that. I'm assuming you're doing interior and everything. You're gonna do a whole bunch, hold the whole shebang. I should drink more beer. Awesome slide theory, the manji. I think this is um uh is it Andy from uh, scale, scale science, I think. Always has some seriously cool bodies going. Love the Gretty sticker on the front. It just looks so good. Looks so good. I love this. She's got the shocker on the top. Looks pretty great. Uh, another, well, everyone's loving the 24 scale. Eh? I don't know. I always thought they were just like a little bit too small for me, but I don't know. Looks good. Looks freaking good. Okay, keep going. Good drift team. Uh, just sideways as usual. That looks good. RC Garage Garage, man, that looks like a sick chassis. Love the wire tuck. Clean setup, man. Rims are sick. Love them. Yeah, I'm into it, man. That looks so good. Man, it looks so good. I got to redo all my... I got to get a bunch of wires. Some 14-gauge wires to, like, redo everything. Also, this whole, like, bullet connector for the motor setup is so smart. I got to get on that for sure uh hellbilly man man you, you've got the sickest like 124 scale rides um so sweet love the front bumper too on there yeah into it scale addiction yeah working on the brakes looks so good uh here let's move along so i guess you're gonna make these like more like i don't know brembo -y or something or stick whatever you want on there i guess looks good i guess rear front rear man that fdm printer Prints so clean. So nice. So nice. So nice. Oh, yeah. 110 scale. All right. So he pulled the body off. Smart. It's pretty smart. Found this toy in the garbage and Frankenstein it to fit my 24. Yeah. That's what we got to all do, man. Frankenstein everything to make it look sick. So into it. So into it. So into it. What are you saying? Fantasy 2, damn. Yeah, man. Uh, look, the chassis looks good. <sighs> yeah, no, it's awesome. I'm so into it. I'm not drinking beer fast enough, though, for sure. Good drift team. Man, I can't say enough about this thing. I feel like I'm talking about it every week. Oh, and the er uh, Erbium. There it is. All right, so he painted this black, and then, look, he did the screws to make it look all like Lexan, and they cut this, like, air hole here man that just looks so good if it were me i would have slipped and i would have got on the paint and then it would have like ruined everything but uh man does that look super spicy i'm so into it I'm so into it uh who rock man who rock your uh supra so awesome that's my favorite supra there is no other supra in my opinion this is the supra man so awesome that's it that's wicked man looks great looks great love you got the side markers got even the carbon is that like a carbon fiber sort of weave there looks so good hellbilly man another wicked one looks so good all right we saw that one drift eat oh yeah that's right this dude has like a sick cage i don't know where he got this cage from but it looks um injection molded maybe it came off of like a exo terra buggy or something but uh, it fits so well. Love the sort of cage look on everything. Looks so awesome. <laughs> Super looks good. All right. Yes, it looks good. Scale addiction, man. This prints looks so clean. 
All right, moving on. Drift Spec RC. Another slow-mo. Oh, no, everyone's doing 360 entries. Yeah, man, that looks so awesome. Man, I'm so jealous of you, your tracks, guys. They're so much wider than our track. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it seems like there'd be a lot more space to, like, get stuff done. Look at that, those intercoolers. Yes. So into it. So into it. So into it. Russell crawling in the water, loving it. Boards 92 and his uh, whitey 2s. No, it's not a whitey 2s, is it? Guys, what chassis is this? It's like a weird one. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Oh, like they just released the carbon, right? The cherry carbon version of this. Can't remember. Yep, for sure. All right, and keep going because I don't know enough about it to talk about it. But, uh, but yeah, that looks sick. This is the rear, by the way. The motor's mounted right here. Looks Oh, Rhino Max. Thanks. Thanks, Mark Monster Parts. Don't know enough about this stuff for sure. Rhino Max, too. Uh, but it's the, like, car cherry carbon fiber version, which is, like, I don't even know how many they made. I don't think they made a lot of them, but it looks so cool. And uh, this is, like, a, a sick one because it's the most scale, right? Because it's got, you know, the way the, way the shocks mount just seems very scale so it's super cool i don't know talking on my ass a little bit kr pen another saturday full of zen all right i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it all right all right oh here we go nice okay wicked does it say custom chassis built with axial capra cage all right guys so it's an axial uh capra cage here that is like fit on on the uh, YD2 looks looks super great. Like it looks like it fits like it's a stock stock setup. So yeah, dudes, if you guys want something like this, you don't have a 3D printer and you can't just like design it yourself. Uh, I'm sure this is a lot stronger. It's going to take a lot less time to build. And, uh, and it looks like it just fits. So man, Drift8322. Good work, man. That looks so awesome. Also love the like baby blue and the pink contrast. What a setup, man. That looks so good. All right, online hobby guy, I'm on it. All right. Okay. Oh, no, he's got more photos of it. Perfect. Looks, looks like he's got a lot of room to put a motor in there. Yeah, that looks great, man. That looks great. High slide away, man. Loving these guys. All right, keep moving on. Oh, man. Dagger Steven, man. This thing looks so sweet. Look at the freaking... Oh, my God. Can you buy these? Good Lord. Keep up. Look at the buckets. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Maybe a little bit too much stance work for me. But uh, that's just me. I don't know. Don't listen to me. Look at the cage. So good. So good. Oh, man. Ugh. Fuse RC. Do you guys think he's Japanese? <laughs> oh, man. My take on 86 build went from traditional style with wide fenders to detachable bumpers via magnets, except I don't have pics of the bumpers off. Dude, take the bumpers off so we can see it, man. That looks so good. Good lord, I bet they flip up. Oh. oh, so much envy. Oh my god, Peter, peanut butter and jelly. I'm I'm so peanut butter and jelly right now, bros. Come on. Come on. Anyway, all right, I'm going to keep... No, wait, there's one more. Oh, my God. Yeah, come on. Come on, Steven. Come on, Steven. Uh, you're making us all look bad. Come on, St Come on, Steven. What are you... Come on. Look at this. Oh, fudge. Okay. Okay. All right. Son of a bee. Son of a bee. <laughs> All right, Inter 86 RC. It looks cool, man. If you're going for this, that looks awesome. I'm assuming yellow is the tape. And then so you're going with red and white RSR. Nice. It looks good, man. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Find a car 
that you want to emulate and then do it and you'll learn so much. And then like slowly after five or six of them, you'll like think about, you know, it'll just change your, your perception and, and how you think about liveries and it'll make you better at it. And I have to take my own advice. Um, yeah, that looks good. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep going because we keep seeing this this dude. Super scale, man. Oh, my God. The active suspension on these freaking crawlers is just like... I hope a lot of people are buying your, you know, super scale 2020 active suspension kit because, like, it's just the most realistic RC setup there is for sure. For sure. All right, all right. Moving on, moving on, moving on. 28. Trend RC Customs. Oh, dad with the muscle dudes. Yes. Loving the muscle dudes. Uh, yeah. All right. You know, wait, let's see. There's more. Are there more? Oh, it's just him. He's like, like lifting some serious weight there. Badger Cam RC. Oh, man. Cool. How your whole crew's got lights. That's super cool. I don't think I've ever been RC night crawling. That might actually be a lot of fun. I'm not sure. Hashtag muscle dudes. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I got to go back because there's more photos of at night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, that's cool. That's cool. And one dude lights up the whole the whole area, and then you guys crawl. Man, it looks so good. It looks so good. All right, I'm going to keep moving. Motion model R, uh, SR. I love the one up, the wink. The wink looks super sweet. Uh, you're not too late for the party for sure that looks awesome i mean no it looks awesome loving it Love, oh, everything about this is sweet i'm a big sucker for the two-tone like the black bumpers white top panda look or just like just the two-tone in general looks so good if i do end up getting a Le lexan uh helix hilux then i'm gonna definitely go with like a matte black bumper in the front for sure for sure all right i'm gonna keep moving Keep moving. Hellbilly man with the tires on top looks good. Ooh, this looks cool. Is that 3D printed? I don't know. It looks good. Looks pretty good. Okay, keep moving. Keep moving. Oh, the van. That's right. He's got a sick van. Yeah, I'm into it. <sighs> totally into it. RC drift spec. All right. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. All right. Yeah, you can't. You can't slow mo unless you got enough frames. You gotta shoot 60 and slow to 30. That's the only way. Okay, moving on. Gear guy, man, this thing looks super sweet. I gotta get one of these. I don't know what I like just to look at it on the shelf, I guess. Total shelf queen. I gotta get myself one of these drag RC cars, man. They look just so cool. Something with these fat tires. I don't know what it is, but it looks so good. It looks so good. He did a thing, it says. Oh, and the wheelie bars. No, I think I'm going to go with training wheels. Training wheels are definitely what I'm going to do for the troller stroller. Just makes the most sense. Uh, yes. Drift 832. That looks so sweet. I love the meatiness of the tires on this um, MX-5. And uh, it looks like an SRC turbo sticking out the top. Looks good. Looks freaking good. Scale addiction printing on two. Saw that one earlier. Drift 832. That chassis is fire. Looks super short. Looks like you shortened it maybe. Uh, conversion wheelbase, smart. Boards 92. Oh my God, there's so many of these photos. Uh, love that color, man. You can't, that's, that looks so good. That looks so good. So good. Whoever started following me on TikTok, thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, I just saw a notification, just a TikTok. So I assume that's what happened. I don't know who it was. Monster parts looks good. Oh yeah, monster parts. You got this like wicked Domino's thing for delivery. <laughs> that's so fire for sure hellbilly with his uh his uh i was gonna say rape van but maybe that's not politically correct anymore his candy uh, let's call it the candy van we'll call it the candy van muscle men trend rc custom more muscly dudes you need muscly dudes to do your body work to, you know you need muscly dudes to work your body you know sand your body down or whatever Moving on. Slide theory. Nice, man. That thing looks sweet. Love the swoosh. Looks good. 
Uh, oh man, so much stuff. Blake build SRC uh, testing out his new backfire kit. Yes. Oh, I think I know who this dude is. Super G Drift. I've been trying to get this guy to. Uh, I was even gonna buy it from him, but he kind of didn't message me back. That's okay. Uh, motion model SRC. That thing looks sweet. Very uh, DJ Medic of you, a little bit. Very much like uh, Overkill Project Overkill. Looks good, but in one twenty four scale, what? All right, Gear Guy, man, that looks so good. He's making calipers too. Looks like, and keep moving, and keep moving. I don't know how much along I'm like I'm like dipping if I keep doing this. So we're gonna, bro, bro. Uh, is he just trying to trend? RC just wants to show off his muscly action figures. I kind of feel like that's that's what he's doing. RC World Shop, man, that looks so good. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we're done for today. Are we? I think we are. Okay, I'm gonna freaking get out of here because, like, oh, I'm like losing it slightly, which is funny. Uh, share screen. No. Yes. 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 All right, Wicked. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let's go back to the Troller Stroller. It's muted. At least we can watch. Troller Stroller stuff, you can cut them out shorter. What's up? All right, there's 30 dudes still watching. That's crazy. Maybe I'm 30 the whole time. Uh, if you guys have a thumbs up, the, you know, thumbs up the video, do it. It'll help us out. If you guys want to be part of the raffle, we're going to be raffling off um, a sweet... Um, chassis uh 3d printed chassis cage um it's a, a hilux cage zero flux um hilux and uh it's super sweet bolts to a Sahiro 5d so if you super chat me five bones it goes towards other projects which is super helpful to me and uh, it's the only real way to get one of these cages is to do that so do it uh, or not, or don't. It's totally cool. Uh, if you want to support me, grab a t-shirt. I always try to support all the YouTubers that I watch. So, of course, you'll always see me wearing, like, whether it's PFI or Cletus McFarland, all the way to 10 Scale Garage, all the way to, you know, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. There's one. I have so many t-shirts. I'm sure you guys see me wearing them all the time. I'm um, just too drunk. Buffering? Buffering. No, no, I'm good. The internet here is fine and solid according to my computer, which is good. Hopefully it's not buffering. Yes. Also, if you want to buy a t-shirt, you know, visit kpoprc.com. If you want to, you know, join the raffle, we're going to do a bunch of raffle prizes uh, in two weeks. We're going to give away a bunch of t-shirts. We're going to do the cage. And uh, maybe I'll think of something else super fun. Or if you guys can think of something, let me know in the comments. So. Eric is off to the sleep, uh, off to sleepy time gorilla museum. Have a good night. Hopefully, uh, sweet dreams, Eric. Sweet dreams. Blackhead from CIA here with some yellow cake. Uh, I don't know what that means, but yes, I'm wasted. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, you kings of Maine. <laughs> Said in a Michael Caine voice. Cheers to beers, bro. I still have one beer, but I don't know if I'm going to get through it. I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to end up... I mean, I had one with dinner, so it's technically my third one. I don't know. I don't know. But it's delicious. Delicious. We should probably kill it, man. We'll kill it. We'll kill this one a little early. Um, Yeah, Wicked Artist. We'll get to the logo loop. Uh, if it plays. All right, dudes. Thanks a lot for coming and hanging out on K-Pop RC. Just a heads up, you know, we're that troller stroller is happening. We're going to sh start shooting some cool footage with it. It's trying to scare some Karens, maybe trying to stay out of jail. That's probably important so that we can keep the Tall Can Tuesdays up. Thanks a lot for supporting me. All those dudes who super chatted me and joined the raffle. Thanks a lot, guys. Super appreciated. Really helps out, uh, you know keeping this thing going because like let's be real i don't make any money i spend a lot of time on it and uh, maybe i don't spend enough time maybe that's the problem so i'll try my best to get more videos out stuff that's coming up the 
RWB Porsche project. There's a video coming out on that. I've been slowly working on that one. The uh, neighbor project, we got to finish the neighbor project. That's got to happen. And of course, the troller stroller project, that's got to get done. We also have a the Hilux build, the Hilux Zero Flux Hilux build, um, you know, that's made in partnership with Scale Addiction. We will have a video out for that too. So there's a whole bunch of stuff coming out on the channel. And uh, oh, and then of course, there's another strictly drifting video that's coming out too but yeah thanks a lot dudes for hanging out and watching all my shaky footage or whatever and uh peace peace out cheers to beers have a good one dudes cool have a good one dudes